Joining us now is the national president of the Zionist Organization of America, Mort Klein. Mort, thank you so much for joining us. You know, what's your reaction to all this? Look, why would Brinkley have brought up <clears throat> that we have pictures, and compared it to the pictures of the Holocaust that we have? Everybody saw the pictures of January 6th a thousand times. We all know that. And why would Brinkley have compared this uh, to the Holocaust? A ridiculous, absurd, breathtakingly insensitive analogy. He did this because he, as a partisan left-wing uh, uh, historian, he wants to implant in the minds of American people as ugly and frightening a picture of January 6th as is possible. <laughs> and that's why he made this analogy to the Holocaust in Pearl Harbor and 9-11. In Pearl Harbor and 9-11, 3,000 people died in each one. In the Holocaust, we had 6 million Jews murdered and millions of others. And this was a major country with a major army with major weapons. January 6th was a one-day protest that went out of hand with no weapons. No protesters killed anyone. There's only one person who died, and that was a protester killed by a policeman. <laughs> well, and, the, and also, he didn't mention that we saw the pictures of the police opening up the gates, essentially inviting people into the Capitol area. So this, is, this insane analogy is done in order to paint an uglier picture and to frighten Americans, to think January 6th was something truly monstrous when it was just, just one, one very terrible day. More, uh, you have had loved ones who passed away in the Holocaust. What would you say to Brinkley if you would come face to face with this? I, from my home, my aunts, uncles, cousins, and grandparents, of whom I have few, who were murdered in the Holocaust, would demand a profuse and heartfelt apology. How dare he show this breathtaking insensitivity to the Jewish people? and to civilize people around the world by comparing this one day out of control protest to six million Jews and millions of others murdered. And I think a factor here is he and the others want to distract from the real problems we have, uh, illegals entering our borders by the millions, uh, roaring inflation, incredible increases in crime and murders, and even Iran, which only a few days earlier, and this is ignored, why isn't Pelosi saying we want to talk about the fact that Iran has publicly said they want to murder President Trump, President Biden, and Secretary of State Pompeo? That's what should be talked about, not this one day out of control protest where there wasn't a single weapon and no one was killed except the protester uh, herself who was yeah. killed uh, by a policeman. And I, by the way, I also You're would like to ask right. <laughs> why is it that the person nominated to fight Holocaust denial, Holocaust minimization, anti-Semitism. Deborah Lipstadt from Emory University hasn't said a word about this. This is her specialty, Holocaust minimization. Why hasn't she condemned it? She wants to be fighting Holocaust denial and anti-Semitism. And she said nothing about this because she herself has compared Trump to Nazis and videos comparing the Trump administration and Nazi administration. She is unfit. I want to hear from Biden's appointment to fight Holocaust and all anti-Semitism about this breathtakingly insensitive and absurd analogy, Klein, especially by his story. Unfortunately, we have to leave, leave it there, but thank you so much for being with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you. And zoa.org, you can learn more. Thank you.